Hey guys, welcome to the video. So as you know, I'm prepping for the Great Divide, leaving in less than a month. And I've come up with a system of fitting these Blackburn bottle cages to my front shocks. And I figured I'd share that with you because there's a few videos around, but I didn't find anything like that was great. So I thought I might be able to make something a bit more detailed on what to do. So I'll show you. So I've got the XTC29 up in the stand here. So I could show you a bit easier. So what I've got here is a couple hose clamps I picked up from the local gas station. And what I've done is I've actually, a lot of people will clamp the rack, cage, mount, whatever, straight to the, to the forks or straight to the shocks. But I didn't want to do that because I wanted it to be easier for like taking it apart and stuff. So I picked these up. This is just... It's actual intention is to lower the height of your water bottle cage. And actually why I originally bought these is now that I have this Ortleb frame bag, picked it up off Marketplace for like a hundred bucks. But before, sorry, I should say before I got this, I just had that old school Apogee and it took about half that space. So I was going to still have bottles mounted here, but I wanted them a bit lower just to get a bit more clearance between the bottles and the bag. Anyway, I picked that up, but then I realized that these would be perfect for this. So, you know, I'll put a link in the description of where to get them, stuff like Amazon. So if you know, if you're interested, you can pick them up. And so, yeah, I've cable tied those straight to the shocks. Now, uh, not cable tied, sorry, hose clamped. So I used a bit of this. This is rubber scotch tape. It's not just like electrical tape. So it's got a bit more body to it. You might be able to see that. And I put that on any services that I was worried might scratch. Uh, something up so I wrapped around the hose clamps and I've also put it on the back of this mount and that will also help keep it in place I mean these hose clamps you don't want to over tighten them but they got a lot of uh, clamp pressure there but then that tape will help as well and yeah it's good because it's kind of going to be easy to change the position and I think I've put one on the other side too and I think what I'm actually going to do I've ordered a couple more of these and I'm going to mount this maybe around to the front a little bit more and have another one mounted up higher for a couple water bottle cages just typical water bottle cages so i'll probably show you that in a video later on anyway i'll mount that on and show you what it looks like all right i've just got those mounted on now and actually they feel really sturdy on there i actually really like these racks i don't really have too many blackburn products but these just seem really well made and they seem like they'll They'll like last and actually it says they have a lifetime warranty not sure how you would even claim that though now i've got it currently a mounted you know sort of coming straight out but once i put the bags on which i'll show you in a minute i feel like it could be more aerodynamic twisted around either way but as it is it's not too bad really is it i'm planning on mounting another one of these i just don't have it yet right under the down tube there probably around about here and I'm thinking that I'll I'll probably leave that for carrying extra water. I just haven't decided if I'll keep a bottle in it or not. It remains to be seen. Anyway, let me put on some bags on here and show you what it looks like. All right, I got those bags mounted up now. I left this one strap so I could try and show you. Obviously, really not as easy as Penny is, but I guess it's like a pros and cons thing. Yes, this is a lot easier with two hands, but because I'm holding the camera, you know makes it pretty difficult you know so obviously that and then you pull it tight which yeah I just can't really do with one hand but this other one came up pretty good as you can see I got it like pretty tight these have like some kind of rubber sticky I don't know like stitching if you can see that and it gives it a lot of grip because I was when I first saw them I thought these straps might come loose which I've experienced bike touring before so I was considering putting those Versa straps on there, um, if you're familiar with those. But so far these seem all right, so I'll probably just leave it. If I have trouble, I can change them up, go to Home Depot or something maybe. But you'll see what I mean here. See how those bags stick out quite a lot? I think they're both five liters. But I have still plenty of clearance between the front wheel and sort of the edge of the cage in the bag. So. I reckon what I'm going to do, okay, that one might be better lighting, is twist that forwards, damn, maybe like 30 degrees. 
so it's kind of like right up here either forwards or backwards but like i sort of mentioned earlier if i twist it forwards i've got space here to mount a bottle cage with another one and i'll do that either side so it's kind of still a work in progress but i'll let you know when it's ready and i'll show you what these look like with a nalgene bottle in them and that's got the little nalgene bottle in there looks quite neat doesn't it i'm kind of considering one of the larger ones of these mounted under here on the cage but i'm also considering mounting the cage there but leaving it empty so whenever i pick up a juice or something i can put it in there the whole bottle you know like a liter or two and then i can take it with me and then just use it empty as a bottle so that's sort of my two ideas right now what do you guys think this is the rig so that's the video i'm gonna wrap it up hope you got something out of it uh, let me know what you think of this style of mounting do you think it'll be strong enough do you think it'll be too much weight on the front i'm not too sure i mean a lot of people run this sort of style obviously i'm trying to do the great divide bike packing style with the bags as opposed to the panniers just because i want to i have all that gear you know i have it all from when i first started and it was all really nice, new Apogee, all matched. You know, it was all the same uh, model and stuff. But now I just have a mix and match of all sorts. But when I first started, I wanted it all to be perfect. You know, just all, everything had to look right. And I remember I'd see other cyclists that had mix, mixed match stuff. And I'd be like, why do they do that? You know, but now I am like that. You know, I'm going to have orange dry bags on the front, Alt Lab pack, Apogee bag, tent in a dry bag. It's just going to be like a complete mess of bags. But what do you like? Do you like a kind of like more streamlined style? Everything's the same. It all looks neat. Or do you think like whatever, just whatever works, you know? Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.